What's up y'all, it's John Joffrey with Revent Builds in Austin, Texas. And let me just say, I am starting this day pissed off. We're damn near four weeks behind on our electric trim out. Why that's so important is we cannot pass all of our other building, plumbing, HVAC, all of our final environmentals until we get power on. It should have literally been three weeks ago that we're going through this and we're going through it now. So I'm seriously pissed off. I'm going all the way up to the chain to the boss's boss. And honestly, if they don't get this figured out, this is gonna be the last project that we do with them. So they were with me on my very first project in Austin, but that's how it goes. I talk about all this family stuff. I love working with the same crews, but if someone's not delivering for you, there's either drainers or gainers. And if they're draining me, they are on the chopping block. Plaster and our pool consultant is coming soon because we need to get all of our fittings and they're black and they're kind of hard to order. So we're doing that. And now there is a plethora of other things like painting. Painters are here painting the steel rails inside, outside our outdoor kitchen. We also need to do touch-ups on the exterior and interior. Steel doors are supposed to be coming in this afternoon. So we are just loaded up here and I am pushing as hard as I can and acting like next week is D-Day. Let's see if we can make it. Man, I'm just so frustrated right now. We have this electric company that I've used, literally the very first project in Austin, a big company. Why has it been so goddamn miserable working with y'all? I'm so fucking sick of it, dude. Like literally, I don't think I'm gonna use y'all after this. Like why, why would I deal with all this bullshit over and over and over again? They're really great overall. They have tons of potential. Like they do good work, but like, it just seems like they've, they've gotten too big and like, <clears throat> We've been neglected. I am burning money every day that this project doesn't get on market. So like, this is why it's like an emergency now and I'm pissed off. And here's how this works. We have to pass our electric final inspection before we can call any of our other inspections. We cannot get power on. So I expected this to be done three weeks ago. I wanted this thing to get listed next week. So it's pushing back everything. How many weeks? I don't know. So I'm just calling up the chain and just, you know, I'm fucking pissed off, man. Like it shouldn't be this hard. So I'm highly considering going with a different company. There's so much other bull that we need to worry about and we're just trying to get damn power. It's so frustrating. Truth be told, this is our first time GCing a pool ourselves. So this is where we're getting in our own excavators, we're getting in our own gunite crew, our coping, our tile, our plumbing, our electric, all of that stuff, rather than hiring a pool company. Now, we've done a great job, and that is also in part because we got with a local pool company called KB Custom Pools in Austin. They are awesome, they've won awards, they've done hundreds and hundreds of pools. So. What we had come up is obviously they've been here kind of consulting us. We've passed all of our city inspections. Everything's good to go. But this right here, this is another um, inlet underneath our skimmer that basically is a fail safe that if this water level drops below where it should, which really wouldn't ever happen because we have an auto fill. So it's kind of unnecessary. But if this water level ever dropped below, it would still suck in water from there so it wouldn't burn out our pump. Now. This job was permitted like almost two years ago now. So actually the code in which we did this in is fine. We've already passed the inspection, but our pool consultants just came out. And now that we've finished gunite and we're ready for plaster, they have identified that these things can be very problematic. And the thing is, technically we're good, but I'm not gonna have a safety hazard exist in our pool. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna chip this one out and we have another skimmer on the other side. We're gonna chip out the gunite. We're gonna cap these lines and then we're gonna put concrete over it and we'll still be good for plaster. Because you know what? The last thing I would ever want is anything to come up or anything to get hurt or an extra hazard that's unnecessary and I have time to fix it and that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So tons of stuff is going on at the Modern Victorian. Painters are painting away. AJ and Ryan are putting on all of our door hardware, all of our bath hardware. Um, we have cleaners here that are gonna pressure wash the whole outside, clean the windows, pressure wash the driveway. Countertops are here, polishing, leveling, fixing all their seams and miters. I am up the electrician's ass. By all means necessary, we are passing our final inspection by Monday. Now we have our pool figured out. We're getting a few more fittings for the lights. Um, Justin from KB Pools has totally hooked us up. We're gonna head over to Foxtail, which is just five minutes away since he's out here. We're gonna talk about the pool and check up on our progress there. 
Just pulled up to Casa Tulum. Always a beautiful sight is tons of work trucks. That means shit is getting done. I'm already happy. Let's go in and check it out. Forever. What up? They're not even done, dude. Oh, I hope I didn't break your. <laughs> God, dude, I want your beard, man. I feel like if I had your beard, I could take over the world. I feel like you already are. No, dude. <laughs> With this pet, everyone knows I'm a fraud. It's just these little pubes <laughs> on my face. Dude, that looks killer. That is sick. Oh my God, it totally adds a whole different element to this house. My Berto and his hermano Cesar, killing it. Pedro gives him a little direction, kind of sets him up and then they just kind of are finishing it out. Muchas gracias. So look, we have tons of white everywhere and stuck all around, but look at how much more dynamic this house looks with our beautiful Douglas fir cladding. Come here, get a closer look. So what we did, this can be really tricky. So we're doing it on the soffit as well, which is basically just under the eaves. But if you notice, the soffit matches up perfectly. So these lines go all the way over our head as well. So there's a lot of geometry that we have to do to figure out you need the spacing from here to this line the same to keep that going through around this corner. Speaking of corners, look at how beautiful this miter is here at the ridge. So they're mitering this all at an angle to where that's, those boards are still going perfectly across. It looks phenomenal. So another thing we ran across, remember remodel, this staircase was always supposed to be kept the same. When we actually came in to lay the stairs, we actually saw that what our treads and our risers weren't the right so height. One inch starting at the top all the way down is 10 inches out in the hallway. So then what do you mean? Down. One inch at the top what? So if you, you know, you move it forward one inch up there. Yes. The next one's two inches. Right. The next one is, so we had it where there was one landing at the top. Now there's two different steps. Yes. So we pulled all the old framing out, reframed all of these stairs, and now we're good to go. So it was always the plan to keep these original, try to save costs. Ultimately, it was a misstep somewhere in the plans. This ended up being a change order, and now we got it all corrected, and Jordan and one contract are knocking this baby out. Over here at our 1940s remodel and addition with a new accessory dwelling unit, ADU in the back. Come on in. What's up, guys? Looks like we got fing jack shit done over here. <laughs> Look at this. What's up? What's up good to man? see you. Good to see you. Lots of stuff. Oh my god. Easy, easy. Guys from Kinney back at it trying to set booby traps for me. <laughs> this is looking awesome, man. I'm digging these colors. <laughs> Remember all these? There was like gaping pits of death for all of our plumbing. Now we actually got a backyard. Pumps in the ground. All of our trenches are covered up. We're making some damn good progress. Love that thing. <laughs> Woo, your way to beautiful girl. This is bad ass. Looks, feels like so much bigger in here. It's funny how like you see a space and it might feel a little small and then you start like putting things in it. That's why like it helps so much when you're trying to sell a house to do it like after all the furniture is in and it's all staged because you know, it looks like there's not much to do, but look, I mean, this kitchen feels huge. It's awesome. I love how they even put in like these legs. It's all very, very craftsman, like early 1900s aesthetic through this whole thing. You said y'all like y'all like cars or something? Is it yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, that's, that's a, your car or what? Yeah. Can we see it? Huh? We're trying to see it. That's why we came. Oh, you want to hear it? Yeah. Remember, we just picked up the phone and dropped it in there himself. What? So you're lying. I swear. Like with straight turn. Yeah, I don't have an engine hoist. You're lying. Dude, I'm dead serious. <laughs> A 10 second truck. You need like a thousand horsepower truck if you want to go against this. I had to like, I had to put like leather all over here so I could lift it. There's no way. Bro, I promise you. It's like 300 pounds. Bro, he labeled every, every sensor. Really 
Well, I mean, I took it apart, but I didn't want to scratch it. I left all the side panels on and everything. Do you believe him? Saw him. You saw I film him. him all day. Yeah. Like I'm on salary show, show to film stuff. Bro, how you label everything, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I have them like in triplicates. Mm -hmm. I just wanted like a really fast car that wasn't like super expensive. You didn't believe me, huh? No. I mean, I seen his video, but honestly, when you go like fast, if you go like above 130, it's scary, dude. He won't ride with me in anymore. Why not? Just had a kid. I'm trying to make it home and see the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> I was going easy with him too. Susanna Blanton is one of the most badass stagers, designers. She has furnitures, oddities. And we just linked up on here. She showed up in all black and I was like, you're the one. That's it. That's she said the same it. thing. She was like, okay, we're going to fit together good. Totally, totally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right in my alley. Blanton Design and Staging. Check this lady out. She's freaking incredible. Do you think, but you're thinking like books and just decor? Yeah, just decor. Like dishes and like that now. Yeah. Okay. Just style it like go crazy. Yeah. Ravens and fucking books and yeah, yeah. Totally. you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Seeing eyeglasses, or whatever, yes. you know. Okay. And remember, do not hold back. Okay. I want it to look witchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? No problem. Um, Tis the season. <laughs> Tis the season. Yeah. What I say is the finish line is always just outside your grasp. Mr. Humphreys, this is beautiful. All right, y'all, we're closing out this Friday and the week over at the Modern Victorian. As far as progress across the board, I feel really good. There's tons of people working, stuff's getting done. We obviously have the normal show of just things going awry and us having to adapt, but we are crushing it. It is all hands on deck at the Modern Victorian. Next Friday and Saturday, the interior of this home is officially getting staged with furniture. So we are pushing full steam ahead to get the Modern Victorian on the market. Um, if you guys, you know, I'm really curious if you like the formatting of just follow me around for the whole day to a bunch of different jobs, or if we're going periodically, just kind of see how things roll for the week, just comment below. Let us know if there's other things that you want to see or if there's any questions you have. But um, other than that, I appreciate y'all. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. Take it easy. You That's really it. better hope this works out. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty f***ing awesome though, right? You, so you had no idea what you were getting before you went in today? No. No clue. <laughs>